Legislators discuss a bill at the State House that could be the start of bringing nuclear power back to Maine. Maine has not had a nuclear power plant since Maine Yankee in Wiscasset that closed in 1996. Environmentalist groups petitioned to shut down the nuclear plant, but it wasn't until an investigation exposed costly safety problems that the Nuclear Regulatory Commission decided to shut the plant down. LD-689 is a bill to study the construction of a nuclear power plant in Maine, sponsored by Republican Representative Mark Walker and co-sponsored by several legislators, including Republican Eric Brakey. Brakey says nuclear power has come a long way since Maine Yankee. Nuclear energy today is safer, cleaner, cheaper than ever before. It doesn't escape into the environment and create the kind of environmental concerns that people have had before. Brakey says Maine needs to explore other energy sources to lessen our dependency on fossil fuels. We can fantasize about a world where we can just rely on wind and solar, but that's not really realistic with kind of the, the limitations on that technology. Democratic House Representative Jerry Runte, who opposes the bill, says there is no market for a nuclear power plant in the United States. There are no manufacturers. They're all out of business. They have no market. They have no buyers. Mm. Uh, the plants that you see being built today are being built by Russia, and China. I'm skeptical, but there could be 20 or 30 years from now, smaller versions of some of the things that people are working on now, these technologies, but uh, I do not see them as commercially available and viable economic uh, in, the, in the near term. Legislators will continue to discuss the bill in hearings and in work sessions, and Brakey says he hopes that the committee decides to move forward on it. Reporting in Augusta, I'm Talia Clark for Maine's Total Coverage.